And this way, I run you through 25 customizations to make your Mac cleaner, more unique and aesthetic, and just more yours. Let's jump right into it. Of course, one of the first things that come to mind when customizing macOS is a new wallpaper, because this year's default wallpaper is not the most beautiful one. But wallpapers that stay the same all the time are boring. To fix that, just open the system settings and go normally to wallpaper, but then don't select the wallpaper from down here. Instead, open a folder with some wallpapers you like. I have a folder right here with some gradients from basic apple guy they are completely free link in the description and then drag this folder onto that preview here and then your mac will automatically shuffle through this folder but to be honest with you guys there are some hidden gems in these stock wallpapers down here for example i love this big Sur horizon wallpaper it looks absolutely stunning in my opinion another pretty obvious thing when talking about customizing mac os is light and dark mode and of course we need to enable dark mode look at this it's just way better but since mac os 26.1 there's also this new clear and tinted version of the system. Tinted basically turns down the liquid glass. I love that, so I'll turn on tinted. And another thing in that menu are the accent colors. Mac OS ships by default with some great accent colors. But what if you want more? Well, I want more. So I did a little bit of my research and I came up with this app. It's called Accents and it brings the accent colors from the M1 to M4 iMacs to your Mac. I love that dark blue here. So I just click on it and then I can select this color in the settings. Now let's talk about this giant thing at the bottom, the dock. Of course you can make it less giant or turn on this cool magnification effect, but they are small. First of all, there are dark icons, which is super cool. To enable them, open the appearance settings in the system settings and click on dark. There's also clear and a tinted version, but they don't look good in my opinion. So these darker icons are pretty cool, right? But you can take that even further. To do that, open a browser of your choice and go to macosicons.com. On this website, there are 30,000 custom macOS icons and you ones get added every single day. I think Audacity needs some help here. So I click on the search bar and search for Audacity. I kind of like this Audacity Apple's Max icon. So I click on it, hit download, and it gets downloaded. Now I open up my finder, go to applications, find Audacity, and hit command I. Now this window opens the information panel. Now I go into my downloads location where the icon is located, and then just drag it onto this little icon. And when I open Audacity, the icon will change change. Looks way better now, right? But wait, there's even more. Look at my dog. There are many apps in it and it's pretty unorganized. To change that, I'll open my terminal and then paste in this command. I also put it in the description. And when I hit enter, a stock spacer appears that I can track wherever I need it to have. And I can do that again a bunch of times. And now I have a bunch of dock spacers that I can place wherever I want them to have to organize my dock. But wait, there's even more. For that, you need an extra app called Docky. Docky is an app all about customizing your dock. So first of all, you can change its position from bottom to left or right. Let's just put it on the right side of my screen and there it is. Or I can hide the dock, which enables these options, where I can also set the animation speed. So I hide the dock and have the animation speed set to slow, save the settings and now see how slow the dock appears. Now here's the best trick for the dock. Just have it hidden. Open the apps with Raycast or Spotlight and use the extra screen space. Let's take a look at my desktop. It's ugly, it's cluttered, there's so many files and folders on it, it doesn't look good. To change that, I'll just open the system settings, go to desktop and dock, and under show items, I deselect on desktop. Looks way cleaner now. But to make my desktop actually functional now, I click and right click and select edit widgets. And now I can add widget to my desktop. Let's do a battery widget and a calendar widget. Why not two calendar widgets and a nice weather widget. Now we talked about the dock, we talked about the desktop. Now let's talk about the menu bar. My menu bar has way too many items in it that are never used. To fix that problem, I have an app for you. It's called Vanilla and Vanilla hides all the icons from your menu bar that you don't need. Now let's customize the finder a bit. And what better way to customize the finder is there to customize the folders. To do that, I right click a folder and click on customize folder. And here I can set a color. Let's make this folder red and put a nice icon in it or even put an emoji in it. It's just so fun to customize your folders like that. But here's something that many people people don't know. If you right click in an empty space and click show view options, you can increase or decrease the icon size, increase or decrease the icon spacing, and even change the background of the entire finder window. I don't really know if the next trick is really customization, but I'll show it to you anyway. When you open the system settings and go to display, you can make the display feel larger or smaller. And the next one is really funny. If you go to accessibility and to display, you can make your mouse pointer bigger and even change its colors. Isn't that cool? No, actually, 
that's not the default cursor is way better. You see the sidebar right there? It's pretty small, right? You can easily misclick something. To change that, open the appearance and set the sidebar icon size to large, which makes sidebars all around Mac OS larger. And when you go to sound, you can change the alert sound of your Mac. Just go through this list, select the sound you like and then never hear it again. Now look at your Mac. Isn't it beautiful? And wouldn't it be a shame if nobody saw this? That's why you can send me your desktop and when this channel hits 1000 subscribers, I'll rank all of your desktops. So hit subscribe now and then click on the first link in the description to send me a screenshot of your desktop. I'll see you in that ranking video. But until then, you can click on this video where I'll show you 56 metrics I guarantee you didn't know.